Look at this. Somebody come look at this. This is literally my hair texture. What? First off, thank you Curls Queen for sponsoring this video. I cannot wait to share with you guys what I got in my hair. So I got some more clippings from Curls Queen. Anytime y'all see my hair like this, you already know it's a protective style in store for today. These are the Water Kinky Coily Clip-Ins and these are 20 inches. I love that you get this little care package when you buy your hair because it gives you pretty much a little starter kit for what you need to style your clip-ins. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash these off camera and then I'll come back and we'll install them. Real quick, I had to show y'all what the hair was looking like as I was washing it, y'all. Do y'all see this? It's giving low porosity 4A vibes. Like this literally looks like my hair. Like the ends. I'm sure this is about to be fire. So I installed my clip-ins with the smallest one first and I put a two-piece clip at the nape of my neck and then I did a three-piece clip above it. And then I basically go from smallest to largest in a U-shaped pattern. So you wanna be sure to leave out one five-clip piece for the very top of your head. So I typically space out the clip-ins further apart at the back of my head and kind of move them closer together as I get closer to the crown of my head. And then you wanna keep going up until you get to your anchor brow. So as I get to the top, I added the remaining two clip pieces and the last clip in you want to place that five piece clip in across the front of the anchor braid. So that is going to cover up everything and help you blend your leave out really seamlessly. So a few tips I recommend for blending your hair with clip ins is to shape the hair to frame your face. Now this gives it a more natural yet voluminous look. Now two more key things when it comes to blending your leave out is number one, finding clip ins that mimic your natural hair texture. And then number two, have minimal leave out. The more hair you leave out, the more hair you have to blend. Another tip is to to make sure your extensions and your hair are the same color. Now, as you can see, mine are different, but we made it work. I added a little bit of water because my hair was stretched before and this kind of helped my hair revert back to its natural state. And this is what my hair looked like before styling. Now for the wash and go, I did a leave-in conditioner and a gel and I shingled my hair. And I know a lot of people don't like shingling their hair because they say it takes forever, but I literally do this every time I do a wash and go so it doesn't feel like it takes that long for me. I also feel like using a gel and shingling and finger coiling my ends helped me get the defined results that I got from this wash and go. Now the products I use will be linked in the description box below. So here I am doing the last part, shingling my leave out with the clip-ins and it blends so naturally. All right y'all, I have finished styling and defining the curls. As you can see, I did trim my hair so it has like some fluffy layers. I have to say, like, this is really for the type 4, for a girlies who want, like, that kinky, coily texture that matches their natural hair texture. Typically, like, when I get clip-ins or, you know, whatever, I normally have to do some sort of manipulation to my normal curl pattern to get it to match the hair that I put in. But I literally just did wash and go. Can y'all see? like it blends perfectly with no effort and that is just blowing my mind right now so of course we gotta see how it dries i do feel like because the ends are a little bit more of that coily texture you're gonna get more of an afro effect versus just like a water wave right so i'm going for va va boom afro vibes like what my natural wash and go would look like if my hair was this long so i'm excited to see how this dries down so i'm gonna go diffuse my hair do a little makeup and i'll come back and show you guys the finished results this is what my hair looks like fully dried face is done and i am so shook like, I know Curls Queen clippings have had me shook before, but these are literally for my type 4 girlies. My 4A girls who have this coily texture, 
Like this looks exactly like my hair. It looks exactly like my hair. If my hair was dyed like a natural black color, you would not be able to clock where my leave out is. So I did the flip over method where I just have like the front perimeter of my hair out, um, which allows me to do like the side part on either side. You just kind of like flip it over. Very cute. I did shape this hair to give me like that rounded look so everything's not like one length but we still do have like that fullness of the 20 inches like if I pull it down it's still relatively long um, but I did like shape up the hair like this so it would look nice and full. If I wanted to do like, ooh, if I wanted to do like a middle part situation, that's kind of how the middle part looks. I obviously would like pick, pick my hair so that it's fluffy. For this style specifically, like when I'm picking out my hair, I just use my fingers and kind of put them through my hair like this and hold down at the roots so like the clip-ins aren't tugging and then I just fluff from there. So that allows you to like pick out your hair without disrupting the way that you place the clip-ins in your head. But y'all, what? This is crazy. This is basically like what the top looks like. Like I said, I have this much hair out and then the clips start from there back. My hair is naturally brown, so that's why it looks lighter than this hair. I will say this hair is the natural color but I feel like it's like a natural black so if you have a lighter brown your hair might look like this overall I'm just really like surprised at how much this texture is really close to like my natural curl pattern when I was washing the clip-ins before I put them in I was like dang like it's kind of like fluffy and da 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 da. Like, it's not giving me those regular, like, waves. Like, what's T? And I was trying to figure out, like, how am I going to define these curls? Which is why I was like, it's giving low porosity type 4, which I'm not mad at it giving low porosity type 4 because that is my natural hair. So it literally matches my texture. Like, on the ends, it's a lot more coily in like ringlets but then it also like dries where it has that puffiness that your natural hair has if you have like 4a 3c 4a hair like like this is one of them ones where you don't have to braid your leave out you don't have to twist your leave out flexi rod your leave out if you have 3c 4a all you have to do is do the wash and go moment and it's gonna blend with ease I saw on Instagram this technique for touching up your hair as well where I use water and foam mousse to just kind of like coil the ends and it literally defines the ends. Now I did shingle my hair because that's my business and that's what I like to do. I used leave-in conditioner gel and I shingled my hair and kind of like finger coiled the ends to get these results. So for my type 4 girlies, these clip-ins might be one you want to give a try because like I said, these are the first clip-ins that I personally have used that actually mimic my natural hair. Like it's literally, this is what my natural hair be looking like. The proof is in the pudding, the texture match is on Point. so shout out to curls queen for sponsoring this video y'all have did it once again like i'm not gonna lie y'all onto something over there
Now, another thing I will say is the flip over method is a great method for people who want a little bit more versatility when they're wearing their clip-ins. So if you want to do a left side part one day, then the next day you want to flip it over and do a right side part, kind of give your parts a break. You can do that. Then you can, you know, bust it down the middle and have your middle part going. You can even, when you do like how I did and we just have the front down, I could even do like a half up, half down moment um, where the whole front is my hair. So you're not seeing, you're not seeing my clip ins. If you had a headband, you could do a high ponytail as well. All in all, I think the flip over method is a great method for people who like versatility in their hairstyles and for people who want it to be kind of like easy to conceal your clip ins instead of like trying to come up with all different ways to put them in again shout out to curls queen for sponsoring this video y'all have hit the nail on the head yet again with these clip-ins i am literally in awe now i will also put the specs and a direct link to this hair in the description box below so if you're interested in shopping these clip-ins make sure you head down there click the link so you can get your hands on these clip-ins okay don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new uploads and as always be kind be true and be you tiffle bye it's a